Hey guys, Steve Harris here. In today's tip, we're going to look at hyperlink styles. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because we recently had a question come in about our Nav System Pro widget. So I've got our Nav System Pro widget set up on a page here, and let me preview this in the browser. So I go ahead and preview the menu by clicking on the hamburger icon. And when I do, the menu comes up, but we've got a couple of items that are underlined. And if I click into the submenu, same thing, they're underlined. So I think many users are looking for underlying options within the widget itself. So if we click into the configuration component and we go ahead and look at some of the style settings we could maybe see in here. Well, no, we've gone through all of this and I don't see any underlying options on that. Now, the reason these are underlining by default is not related to a setting in the widget. It's actually related to something called hyperlink styles. And by default, Muse underlines and recolors all of the hyperlinks you put in your site. So to access that section in Muse, I just need to click on something. Let's select a text frame. And up here under hyperlinks, I can actually click on the word hyperlinks itself and it brings up this little menu. And we have to click edit link styles. So what this does is brings up a kind of dialog box here and it says by default, any link on this site is going to look like this. And it has the color settings for all of the various states on that link and then settings for having it be bold italicized or underlined. So as you can see here, the hyperlink is always underlined, is turned on by default for any link, regardless of if it's a widget or just a simple text link. So let's click on those and turn them off. Okay. And now when I preview this page in the browser and I go to the menu, you can see that now they are not underlined. So that's how you'd go ahead and turn off that underline within our Nav System Pro. Now, if I bring up a completely new site here, let's just create a blank brand new site and I'm going to just create a text hyperlink. So let's just say this is a hyperlink like that. And let me bring up the size so you can see it. Okay. And now let's go ahead and link this to something. So over here in the hyperlinks drop down, I'm just going to add a hyperlink and let's just link this to musethemes.com and hit okay. Perfect. So again, by default, it changes this to the blue underlined color that Muse has by default. And if I bring this up in a browser, you can see it also has a purple um, active or rather a clicked state. So just terrible default styling. So let's go ahead and change that again. Same method I showed you before. Let's click on our hyperlinks drop down and we're going to edit the link styles. And what you could actually do, if you don't want to change your default link style, we could create a new style and we could call this, let's say it's hyperlinks. Perfect. Oops. Let me go back in that menu, hit enter. So the hyperlink style, we could then change it so that uh, it's maybe an orange color. Normally the hover state could be, let's just give it a black, oop, uh, black like that. And then the visited state. Oh, I don't know. We'll just leave it set at orange for now. Okay. That looks great. And we're going to turn off the underline and we'll leave an underline on hover. Okay. So we've set up a whole new hyperlink style and we click okay and nothing changes for some reason. And this confuses people all the time. So what we need to do once we've set up that new hyperlink style is we just need to go ahead and change which style this item is using. By default, it's still using the default style. So let's go hyperlinks. There's our new style. And there we can see changes. And when I preview in the browser, it's orange and it goes to black and underlined on mouse over. So that's just a little tip on how to work with the hyperlink styles in Muse and why you might be seeing some strange colors and some underlines and things like that on your links on your site. Thanks again and stay tuned for another tip next week. Cheers.